the fallout financial, as I was saying, was quick uh, and, and relatively short line. We kind of stabilized around this up 180 level. Uh, to Walzer Wealth Management CEO, Rebecca Walzer. Um, you know, Rebecca, I guess, as you've reminded me, it's always based on what you fear could happen versus the reality of what is happening. And the reality of what is happening is that this is largely contained to China. Certainly the deaths uh, are mostly in China. The, the, the risk of spreading to the U.S., the numbers turn much, much smaller by comparison. But this is the kind of development that rattles markets, should it? Well, you know, Neil, it's kind of interesting because if you look at the last 18 months before phase one got signed, you had a lot of U.S. multinational corporations that had a lot of opportunity to analyze their supply chains in China and maybe make adjustments, get out. Apple is one that basically didn't, and all of their, next to all of their supply chains are from China through China. So um, this is why we're seeing, we would actually have a much more uh, positive up if we didn't have a drag from Apple and companies like that that have such a, a huge supply chain invested in China and then obviously Starbucks McDonald's you know the, you know I don't want to say this Neil but China the in China they eat some strange things and it has led over the years to these very unusual kinds of virus outbreaks that um, that that are new and, and you know and, and fresh and um, what are we gonna do with that and so carnival now not going into China airlines shutting down China China's becoming sort of an isolated island if you can call it that unto itself and of course there's going to be repercussions you know about those repercussions i'm wondering and i'm taking the sleep no one else is saying it i'm just wondering if they fall into a slowdown one of the the first things smart analysts have been talking about or a recession maybe even a brief one will they be able to make good on their promises to buy more goods from us will they maybe even have a convenient excuse even if they are not to yeah oh that's that's awful. I, I hate to go there, Neil, but that's definitely something that's been top of mind for all of us thinking, gosh, we just got this phase one finally hammered out and now they're isolated from the world. And can they actually you know, put their money where their mouth is? And they do and, have and a and legitimate I excuse. I mean, it's not just an excuse. You know, if their population is stopped in its tracks. If 60 million of its people are quarantined in their cities, um, if flights can't get in or out, you can make a very legitimate case that this is freezing them. No, you're absolutely right, Neil, and 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 we all we all see that we all see the writing on the wall. So what we need is we need the Australians came out with a live virus. They've disseminated, it, of course, to uh, bio, botanists and all these people across the world. We need some kind of positive, you know, response here as fast as possible because we are so intercorrelated with China, especially now with Phase One, and we want to see it come to fruition. So yes, we need them to be able to live up to their promises and. And, and certainly this is not their fault, and we wouldn't hold this against them, but we definitely are counting on phase one actually being delivered. Yeah, you're and, right. And um, so this is this shows, this shows us how interconnected we all are, right? And corporations and CEOs need to take note. If this is how affected you are with China being cut off, then what should you do about it? And you need to really look at that as an economic model of what you should do. And, and, and hats off to you. you. You were one of the first to say that in the middle of this back and forth, this interconnection. And when that is broken yeah. off here, I mean, you start worrying about the rest of the connection. So touche to you. I appreciate yeah. that, Rebecca. Be well. Thanks. Thanks, Neil. All right. We you are too. following on.